Ooh, cool. Look at that lit. This is called a lit or a lighted switch. You want to learn how to install one of those? Stick around. And that's a different type of switch. It's a three-way switch and it won't, it won't have top on it. And it won't matter which way you do it. You see what I'm saying? At least I don't think it'll matter. I'm going to be putting in a, a, a light switch later that's going to be a lit uh, light switch like this, but it's going to be a three-way switch. And we'll take a look at that another time and see if it does matter on a three-way if there's a top and bottom, but I don't think there is. Okay, so now we're going to install our, our lighted, lighted switch. This is a 15 amp, and this is a single pole. This one doesn't say single pole, but it has a light switch with one light bulb. That means it's controlled in one area. Okay. Normally you can buy a light switch kind of like this for a couple dollars. This one, because it's lit, was eight eight ninety five, I think. Okay, cause so see, I've got screws on the side that I could do it, or I've got the little holes, see? And that that's the that's the little hole underneath it. Where is it? Oh, that little one there. That one's smaller yet. See that? You push in on that, and then that pops the, the wire out. So where I put the wire is in this, this area and this area here. Okay. And so I'm, I'm going to do it just like they got it done. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these side screws and tighten them up just to get them out, keep them out of the way. That's all. That's all I'm going to do. See how that's kind of flopping around. Oh, see, they have they have this this one set up slightly different. You can wrap it around this or you keep it loose. That that comes out like that. And then there's two slots here where you can slide the wire in sideways and then it and then it, you don't have to uh, you don't have to hook it up with the loop on it. You just push it in sideways and then clamp it down with this. So that's that's another way to attach it. Here's my here's my ground screw. And this should be easy just to just to hook on the sides, but before I do that, I'm going to I'm going to do my ground screw one first. Okay, before I tighten it up, I'm just going to take my wire strippers. I'm not really going to need my wire strippers for this job other than to just grab that end and just push it down like that. And that just keeps it that just keeps it looped over that screw better. I'm going to tighten it down. Like that And I'm going to look at the at this and see which one's top and which one's bottom. Okay, this one's top, and I can see it. It's it's not right in the middle. It's over off to the left. Okay, and I don't know why they wrap. Let's see what these other guys did. They they wrap this ground wire around the black wires and I guess it's okay I just I needed a little bit more wire here okay I don't really like how they did that in fact I'm just gonna undo it get rid of it okay I don't like doing it that way. I like to have everything just so. So now, I'll see if I can't twist this out. Get it straight. 
Look how long this ground wire is. In fact, that's way, that's way too long. I don't want it that long. So let's just let's just do this the proper way. Okay, these wires are going to be sticking out. And I'm just going to cut this and make this about the same length. Now, I'll show you how to use this little hole here on the side. I'm going to put that in there. Let it stick out about an eighth and turn it up. Okay, like that. I could have used this and then folded it all in there, but that way it gave me a chance to show you show you uh, how to put the curly cue in there. So now I'm just going to get this out of here. My little screwdriver works good to get it started. And then just do that. Take that little piece off of there. Okay. I can hold it up in here loop it and you always want the loop to go in the same direction as you're getting ready to tighten up the screw. Okay, I'm going to hold this here. Tighten this down. Okay. Now, I'm just going to use these same ones and poke them into the back. Find out which hole it is and poke them in there. See? Just like that. That's it. That's what you should have so far. Now, if I didn't want to have done that, I could have undone that screw and then pushed them straight in because I see that there's a little, there's a small little minute slot right in there. See right there? Right here and here. So if I undid that, I would pull this metal clip out and then run the wire in there, tighten that down. I don't really want to do that. And if you did that, you'd have to make sure that you didn't have any of the copper stuck out any further than this, this edge, okay? You don't want any showing. Or I, I wouldn't have done that. I would have I would have stripped this longer, and I would have made the curly cue in it like I did the ground, and I would have worn around the screw, and then hooked it on there, and then clamped it on, tightened it up, kind of like I did the uh, the ground screw. Okay. Now it's all about putting it back in the box. Okay. That's all you're going to have so far, just like that or hold it down, get my fingers in there, and push this side up, and then pull this side down, to kind of make a, like an, like a, an S or something, or, okay? Then, now I can get that, and, and I should be able to push it straight in, and have enough room, like that, twist this a little bit, Hold it in there, make it look like it's about right, and I try to get it so that it's it's facing out so this isn't crooked. If you, if you put it in and this is slightly crooked and you tighten it up, your cover plate's not going to be flush, and then you can't do it later. You've got to pull it out, give it a, have enough room so that you can move this around. Okay, so I'm going to hold that up there. That looks really good. Okay, so now I can just take my sheetrock screws and fish them in there don't tighten it up yet until you get them get both screws in now now I'm going to tighten it up I can see 
I could see on the wall where where the old one was, and I could kind of mimic the placement, and then I can adjust that. I can adjust it a little bit if the uh, if the cover plate ends up looking like it's crooked. Okay, this one I'm going to slide over a little bit. Just going to make it make that snug. Okay. Tighten it up too tight. Now I'm going to hold my my cover on there, and I want it flush. And it looks like I've got to loosen this up a little bit. This the hair, because when I tighten down this, I want this edge to be flush. Okay. Hold that up there. Look and see if it's straight. If you have to, and if it's next to it, the door jam, you can measure it. Seven and three quarters. Seven and a short three quarters. So this bottom would have to come over. It looked pretty straight at first. And moved it just like that. I can hold that on there. That looks good right there. And I don't want to get that too tight or anything, but. Looks good. Look at your cover plate, see if you need to clean it off or anything. This, now's a good time to, to check that if you got any little paint on this edge. Let's say now's your chance to clean it off. It looks pretty good, this one. You'd be surprised at how dirty cover plates can get. And the screws aren't very long, so as you're putting them in, you don't want to over tighten them because you could crack the cover plate. Okay. Come on. Hold your mouth just right. Hope that you, you catch that. Okay. That looks that looks pretty good. There. And I don't care if the if the if the screw line isn't straight across or straight up and down or anything. My electrician, he used to he used to like to to do things and get everything lined up whatever because maybe this one has to be tightened up a little bit more and you do that and you crack this. No, nothing doing. Okay, that's it. Let's turn on the lights and see what happens. Well, that's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with more videos.